folks, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do a fun tune called Lazy John, kind of an old time Appalachian tune. And uh, it's a good tune for beginners if you're starting out. Um, I, li I like this tune a lot, and so I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna play the whole thing at a medium speed. And then we're going to go back and learn it part by part, breaking those parts down into single notes. Okay? And uh, if you haven't been to Fiddlehead before, we have all left hand fingerings are tabbed out in the description of the video below. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to play the whole thing. Okay, pretty cool tune, eh? It also can be done as a song. It's a song, and I'm thinking I might do a follow-up video in which I teach you how to play the chords and sing it. And so then what you can do is kind of be a one-man band and play, um, sing it, then play the fiddle melody, then sing it, and so forth. So maybe that'll be coming next. I'll see. I'll see if you want that. Let me know if you want that. Okay, so we're going to start with the first quarter of the A part. Actually, no, we're going to break the tune into halves because it's um, a little bit shorter of a tune and, and it seemed to make teaching sense to do that. So I'm going to teach you the first half of the A part. Okay, we're starting on D with open one, three. And those are pickup notes, so if you're counting, it'd be like one and two and three and four and. It's and four and, the end of three, four and. One and two and three and four and. All right. Then we go to A and do open A, A, open A twice, then one, then open again. we have before that, then, so it kind of sounds funny now, but when we finish it, it'll make sense. Then we go D3, and then back to A1, so that's D3 to A1. If you're a beginner, that might be hard for you. You might want to practice D3 to A1. And just generally speaking, all these all these tunes have little exercises buried in it. Anytime you encounter something hard, turn it into an exercise. So, looking at this little exercise, we could uh, go start just doing it D three to A one. Then to practice it more, you can try adding a rhythm hoedown. Triplets. Then we can do something pretty cool. We can transpose that little exercise to start it on G3 instead of D3. So go. Then back to our original. Now transpose it up to A3. Practice it there. Practice it with all the rhythms. And then we can do something even more into get more into it. We could we could string those three things together, those three transposed versions of it. We have a pretty involved exercise we've been created that's gonna make you a much better fiddler. Go backwards. You can make up your own exercises based on that simple idea of how can you ask yourself how can you practice that thing that's hard D3 to A1 so let's get back to our tune um, thanks for, for bearing with me on that maybe maybe you don't need to know that but I think it's a really useful idea so the whole first half of the A part again
do it again. All right. Um, I'm, yeah, let's move on now. Let's play one more time and then move on. Okay, cool. Now let's do the second half of the A part. Okay, so that starts the same. All right, but then we end with one, two, three. So they're pretty similar. So here it is, again, the whole second half again. Alrighty, let's just take a moment and loop on the second half of the tune. One and two and three. Looping is one of the best practices you can do to learn things. All right, now I'm just going to play the entire A part. One and two and three. Maybe a little slower. One and two and three. That's the whole A part. Let's move on to the B part and we'll do the first half of the B part. Okay, so it's gonna start kind of similar idea to the beginning of the song, but we start on A now, open one, three. It starts on the end of three as well. So like one and two and three and And going to open E. And, do, and, and then we're going to do a three back to E. So we're going to go. Try that again. Then we add on A, 3, 1, open. Putting that together, the first half. I'll do it again. That's the whole first half. The second half of the A is the same. Sorry, the second half of the B is the same as the second half of the A. I'll just review it for you. So now I'll play the entire B part. One, two, one, and two, and three. Each part repeats. In general, fiddle tune in fiddle tunes, the A and the B repeat. Not always, but in general. And I think it's a good idea for you as the student to repeat um, because it's a, a good practice thing. You get that repetition, you get to hear it again, maybe correct a few things. Every time you play it, you're getting kind of like a second chance. All right, so I'm now just gonna very slowly play the entire tune. 
Very good. I'll just give you one last little extra credit thing to do with the song. This will not go on your transcript. It will, will not be part of your final GPA. What we're going to do is just start the tune on the G string. So just transposing is a great way to creatively practice things. So even if you're a beginner, you can probably do that and have a lot of fun, just kind of hear the tune in a new way and get some good practice in. All right, I'm glad you made it to the end of the lesson. Thanks for persisting, and we'll see you next time.